Hello everybody, this is Dr. Allison Bytel. Today's video is going to focus on how to properly dose babies and children with liquid antipyretics like Tylenol, which is the same thing as acetaminophen, versus Motrin, which is the same thing as ibuprofen or Advil. Now, just a small forewarning here. Um, if you have a baby who's very little, say a baby who's two months of age or younger, it is safest really not to give them anything at all if they have a fever. When a fever is treated, um, it could mask the signs of significant bacterial illness. So in that case, if you have a small baby with a fever, which is gonna be 100.4 taken rectally for babies two months and younger, the safest thing to do is to just call the pediatrician. Okay, so the focus of today's video is really for older children who um, have a fever and you would like to calculate the exact dose of medication that would be appropriate for your child. For those of you who may have watched some of my other videos, you may know that I am not a big fan of using antipyretics in general. Um, fever happens to be a very good defense mechanism for the body. It helps us get better faster, but there may be instances in which using an antipyretic is really helpful. For example, if you have a child who is not eating, sleeping, if they can't swallow, they're not drinking, and they may be in some pain, all of these reasons may be um, a good reason to go ahead and treat with antipyretics like Tylenol or Motrin. So how do you calculate the right dose for your child? Well, you could just go ahead and look at the bottle and that is going to give you a dose based on a weight range. But as I mentioned, there is a very simple way to calculate the exact dose for your child. And uh, in the world of pediatrics, this would be a multi-step process, but um, fortunately I've broken it down into a simple one-step calculation that you can use. I just wanna say something else related to these meds before I go ahead and give you the calculation. Um, Tylenol is metabolized through the liver, which means that if you overdose on Tylenol, you could unwittingly uh, go into liver failure. So you wanna be really, really careful about um, giving the appropriate dose of Tylenol. Motion, ibuprofen, Advil, the anti-inflammatories, um, they are a bit safer. Uh, however, they can irritate the lining of the GI tract and cause stomach aches and in rare cases bleeding. So none of these meds are completely benign. So you wanna always use them with caution. So we're gonna go ahead and start with how to dose children's Motrin, which um, as you may know, comes in a general concentration of 100 milligrams per five mLs. And here is my little cheat sheet. So children's Motrin, otherwise known as Advil or ibuprofen, uh, to do this quick calculation, you're gonna take your child's weight in pounds and multiply times 0.22. Again, that's the weight in pounds, multiply times 0.22, that will give you the dose in milliliters of children's Motrin. Now, the maximum dose of Motrin for an adult size size person or the typical dose is gonna be about 400 milligrams. If you were administering this as a liquid, this would be 20 mLs, okay? So if you get a calculation and you calculate 25 mLs, then you know that you've, you know, you're in the wrong ballpark, okay? So again, you're gonna take your child's weight in pounds, multiply times 0.22, and that will give you the dose of children's Motrin. Motrin, by the way, is given every six to eight hours, uh, but again, less is more, so just give the minimum dose that gets the job done. Okay. The next one here we're going to talk about is infant motion. As you can see, okay, uh, we've got a smaller number here that we're multiplying by. Infant motion is twice as concentrated as the children's motion. So I just mentioned a minute ago that the children's motion is 100 milligrams per 5 mLs. Infant motion is 100 milligrams per 2.5 mLs. So because of this, we're multiplying by a number that is half what we did in the other calculation. So in this case, with infant Motrin, you would take your child's weight, multiply times 0.11 instead of the 0.22, and this will give you their dose in milliliters. And you'll notice here the maximum dose for anybody is still gonna be 400 milligrams. Okay, this is presumably if you have an adult-sized person, uh, but that comes out to be a volume of 10 mLs with infant Motrin because it is twice as concentrated compared to the children's Motrin. Okay. 
Now, before we move on to Tylenol, a last word about Motrin. Motrin is FDA approved for six months of age and older, but if you have a slightly younger child and you use the calculation and you get the right weight-based dose, it is quite safe. So uh, again, it's FDA approved for six months and older, but um, have I used this in children who are a little bit younger? Yes, I have, and um, I've done it quite safely. Okay, again, in general, uh, less is more when it comes to all of these medications. So lastly, let's talk about Tylenol. Okay, we're talking about liquid Tylenol here. There is only one formulation. There's not a children's versus an infant. There's one formulation of 160 milligrams per 5 mLs. There used to be an infant formulation, but because there were so many, you know, uh, inadvertent overdoses, that was changed. So in this case, you would take your child's weight in pounds, you're going to multiply it times 0.21, and that will give you the dose in mLs. The maximum dose, just for simplicity of Tylenol that I've listed here, is 650 milligrams, which is 20 mLs of the liquid. Okay, but again, you know, you want to calculate your child's exact dose. So the weight times 0.21. To figure out your child's weight, if you're at home um, and you want to, uh, you know, get a, a, an estimate or maybe even something better than an estimate on their weight, you uh, one easy method is you could hold your child and stand on the scale together. And then, unfortunately, you need to put the child down and calculate your own weight. Uh, but once you've done that, you can subtract one from the other, and that is going to give you your child's weight. Now, the last thing I just want to say about all of this um, is, you know, in the real world of pediatrics, all of these medications are... Um, they're dosed on a milligram per kilogram basis, which means it's really a multi-step calculation. You start with somebody's weight, you convert it to kilograms, you calculate the milligrams versus on the recommended milligrams per kilograms. You then convert that into a volume based upon the concentration of the medication. So it's actually quite a few steps. And the nice thing about the calculation I've given you, it's a simple step or you know, one uh, single step very easy, um, and if you know if you forget what we went over and you want to have it in writing somewhere, I do have this all written down on my blog, which is www.abcparenting.blog, uh, and you can certainly check it out there. It'll always be there in writing. So um, I wish everybody a happy, a healthy winter season as we move forward, and hopefully a uh, rapid end to the pandemic as we see this vaccine. Uh, starting to be released everywhere. So anyway, stay safe, stay healthy, wear those masks, be well.